and welcome to another video for Sonic Sorcery where we create magic with sound. I'm Stefan Key, your Sonic Sorcerer and in this video I have a tutorial for you for one of my favorite styles of music or genre which is ambient music and today we're gonna create something like this. <laughs> And we're gonna create this using only free plugins. <laughs> I mean, isn't that amazing? Like, if you hear this, who would have thought this is done with all plugins that you can get available for free? And, and it's so cool that we are living in this time and age where such amazing instruments are being made available to us by music lovers and enthusiasts and just a, by a beautiful community of, of producers who share their sounds and by amazing tools. So before we get into the track, uh, let me show you what you need in order to get those instruments. So it all starts with Piano Book. Piano Book is an amazing community and a platform for sampled instruments. So Christian Hansen, he is the founder of Piano Book and he is a media composer and a musician and a sample enthusiast and he has this amazing YouTube channel which I highly recommend you to check out. You can learn a lot about making music and sampling and uh, yeah he's also working for Spitfire Audio which is a high quality um, sample production company I guess like they, they create all kinds of beautiful cinematic instruments so he is the founder of Piano Book his enthusiasm for creating sample instruments sparked the inspiration for many other musicians and uh, samplists to share their sample libraries for free on Piano Book and it's growing. It's already 650 sample packs right now. The thing is, back in the days, those were only working with Contact from Native Instruments, which is an amazing uh, sound engine, but it is also $250. And this is where this guy comes in, David Hillowitz. He created a version of his dream sampler which is available for free for everybody and he keeps improving it. It's so awesome. He puts so much love and, and effort into it and it looks like this. The decent sampler. And not only can you play free sample libraries but you can also create your own sampled instruments. So you can record and sample something and then turn it into an instrument with a beautiful interface with uh, this free plugin so yeah include these guys in your prayers christian hansen david hillowitz thank you so much guys for offering those amazing platforms and tools for us to create beautiful music so if you want to get the decent sampler versions all you need to do is go to the piano book website create an account and then for sample packs, you can browse by different categories. But what we want to look for is Decent Sampler. All right, if you click on Decent Sampler, you find all those different instruments. For instance, uh, the Misty Flute is amazing. I, I used it in this project also. So you click on it, you see a little description. You see the picture of the instrument that's been sampled. You can hear demo sounds if they have been created. And yeah, you you hear like get get to find out about the personal story, the connection that the samplist has with that, and then there can be feedback. And then you click downloads, 
And sometimes there's a contact version, sometimes is contact and decent sampler. What we want is decent sampler. So you just click download on that, right, on decent sampler, and then it's showing up as a download as a zip file. And then you save it. And you also download decent sampler for free. Uh, you can have it for Windows or Mac or Linux even. And this is the latest version. Make sure to get the latest version, the one. 0.2.7 on the decentsamples.com uh, website. I will link all the websites and YouTube channels in the description. Okay, and uh, once you have done that, then you go into Ableton and you, let's say we create a MIDI track, like a new one, right? It's an empty MIDI track. And I go to my plugins, and in this case, I already have it in my favorites, the decent sampler, right? So now it looks like that. But if I want to add an instrument, it's as easy as going to the download files. So I have, for instance, here, uh, I have here my decent sampler library, all the instruments that I've downloaded. And let's say you want to add something like this cool piano <laughs> from Christian Hansen. So I just take it and drop it onto the sampler and then it will unzip it and add it to the library. Now it's asking, it takes some time because it's a bigger library. So I guess we need to wait a little bit. Smaller instruments, oh wow, here we are. So <laughs> this is how it looks like. Let's have a listen how it sounds in a bit. Um, and this is basically Christian Hansen sampling his uh, piano and running it through tons of uh, pedals to give like it this beautiful ambient feel. So yeah, let's have a listen. <laughs> Amazing. And it instantly reminds me of Brian Eno. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely could have used this one as well, but it didn't uh, um, ended up being in this project that I'm working on right now. But I just wanted to show you how you can uh, import the Decent Sampler file. It's super easy and then you can browse them. You can also go to File, Load the recent ones. But basically you just click on Load and then you can find the library uh, where you download it and you put in the DS preset file. But if you do it with a zip file, then you don't need to worry. You just drag the zip file on it and then, and that's the easiest. You just need to make sure that uh, you have a destination, like um, custom folder. Mine is on my external hard drive. And I recommend you if you have an external hard drive that is fast enough, like USB 3.0 um, or like an SSD hard drive in this case then you can put it there. All right, so let's have a look at the instrument. So what I did basically, I was just uh, grabbing instruments on this website here, on the piano book, right? Instruments that spoke to me, that I resonated with, and this is what I ended up with. So let's have a listen first to each instrument. So here we have the kalimba, which is called the klimpa. It's a sample kalimba. It's uh, very simple, just uh, the different uh, notes, like there's not much to do in the interface and the plugin. You cannot change anything, but listen how it sounds. The cool thing is you have the plucky, attacky sound, but if you play the note longer, you get this beautiful tail, and this is what I liked. And you get some textures as well. Sounds really beautiful. And what you can hear also is the noise filter. So this is adding the organic texture. You know, remember that noise filter maybe from uh, my other video. 
about the organic percussion sounds. So I put the noise filter on that with the rainforest ambience to make it a bit sound a little bit more ambient. And this is how you get the texture, right? So again. And I just played a couple of notes. Let's get this out of the way. I just A, C, and E, basically an A minor chord. Nothing fancy. The magic comes when, when you play all together, right? In ambient music, it's all about layering, creating this wall of sound. that works really well together and blends together. Okay, so now we have a look at the second instrument. Uh, this is the marimba. It's called marimba ripples. And what is cool about that is that it has not the classical marimba sound, but it is played um, you know, a couple of times. And you can change uh, yeah, that's automated now. You can basically change the speed. And I like that because it gave it like a textural sound like organic almost like a rain sound so let's have a listen to that on its own again nothing fancy here just three notes that is all all we need <laughs> in the ambient music and I play them like long after each other like as 16th notes and to get a little bit of automation and variation i automated within the decent sampler the the fast parameter see it's moving and this changes basically the articulation and so it creates a little bit of subtle movement. And it's all about subtle movements and subtle variations in ambient music. So you don't want to change it too much, but you also don't want to keep it all the same. And automation is a really cool way um, to create those subtle changes. So you can see here it's going from fast to slower and then it's half the tempo and then it goes up but in a more like sine wave and then it goes down to completely zero so super slow and then back and this changes just a little bit the timbre and the color of the sound and also how loud and fast it's perceived right so it's coming in and out okay uh-oh that is not a good sign let's see what happens all right and we are back so yeah my computer just crashed i don't know if that has to do with decent sampler i hope not but yeah let's just continue so this was the marimba so now something really cool also uh the choir also a decent sampler instrument the discord choir and i found it on the piano book website like all the plugins and let's have a listen to this how this sounds Oh. 
So if I turn everything off, you know, it's basically just two notes. It's like the root note C and the fifth above G. And then what I did, I used this chord uh, MIDI effect here. So you go to MIDI effects and then you go to chord and then you got this thing here, which is awesome because what it allows you is uh, you can create a whole chord using uh, just one note. And if you turn this on and then you can shift it and you can basically on top of the note you, you are playing or below, you can add additional notes. And this works in semitones, right? And you can up, have up to six additional notes. So you can have like a seven voice chord, so to say. And this is like a four voice chord now. So what I did, I added plus 12 semitones on top. So which is playing an octave on top. So an octave higher, the root note. And then you can also put the intensity. So this is kind of like the velocity, like how loud the notes are played. So if you don't want it to be like uh, super powerful in the low or in the high end, because you can also go down the octaves, of course. Uh, let's see how this sounds, actually, if I go down an octave as well. And then I went up seven semitones, which is the fifth, right? And you might ask yourself, oh, at seven, that's not like five. Fifth sounds like five, but it's actually about the semitones. So all the all the steps are counted, right? So from here to here, that's a fifth. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven semitones. So if you want to go up a fifth, it's uh, seven semitones. If you want to go up a fourth, then that's five steps. One, two, three, four, five. So that will be a fourth. And... But usually uh, we use the fifth for the chords. It's a bit more powerful interval. All right. And this shapes this shapes the sound like uh, to a whole chord, right? Then I added my favorite reverb, my favorite free reverb. which is the cloud seed, this one, and the preset, the ruby car fields. But then I found it was quite bright, so I added also an auto filter on the band pass setting here. So that means it's only letting through this frequency spectrum, it's taking out the lows and the highs. So we have this very mid-rangey sound right now, which sounds kind of more in the back. And then again, subtle variations, I modulated a little bit the filter frequency with an LFO here. So this is a modulation, you can set the amount and the rate, the, the speed of the modulation. So now very slightly and softly the frequency is always changing over time in a sine wave. So that's just modulating the sound a little bit all the time changing. It's actually quite nice with with the one on the lower side. Let's turn that off. See how that sounds. Yeah, it's okay. I, I feel because we have the filter, we don't need the lower octave here. So we just leave it like that. But that's basically the choir. Beautiful. And now, Let's have a listen to the instrument that I started with. So I started with the drone. I always start with the drone or with a pad. And this one is epic. Um, this one is called Aufer or something. Aufert. It's like uh, Icelandic and it means texture. It's a beautiful instrument. And I used two uh, uh, versions of it. It's like one for the low frequencies and one for the higher registers. So I just basically play a bass note here, like the root. C1. And on its own, it's already uh, moving a lot, you know, because of the layers here. If you turn down the layers, nothing much is happening. But if you turn that on, there's a lot of texture added. It's 
it's evolving over time and then again to add some variation what I automated was the filter frequency so you can see here the filter is slightly opening up and then going down again so the sound gets darker towards the end and a little bit brighter towards the middle it's a 16 bar loop so just some subtle variation here on the filter frequency taking out some of the high end and bringing some of the high end in yeah now you can hear the layers so that's this beautiful bass drone and then on top of that I played the high synth again the same instrument just playing some notes again only three to four notes very simple I find the key in MB music is to use almost always the same notes but different octaves and different timbres different instruments you know and, and find the spaces in between that work well and it's all just intuitively I played this you know as you can see by hand just very intuitively and then we get to the misty flute which is super beautiful wow how awesome that sounds and I just added some reverb and put the attack way down so it's like a pad right if you increase the attack then it slowly fades in to give you that pad feeling wow I'm so <laughs> in love with that sound man and again I just played something on the push like the C and the G like just the root and the fifth and then on top a couple of notes super beautiful in love with that flute and then I added some rhythm so that's a really cool drum I think in general like it's an Argentinian drum but this one is made in Colombia you can read all about the story um, on the piano book website and it's basically just two things like the stick hitting the drum and then the drum but I added a lot of <laughs> delay to it and also uh, the cloud seed chorus delay and I just played those two little hits here of the stick and then of the drum In different intensities right because the different velocity is creating a different sound you can hear like this one is brighter and uh, this one is stronger because the velocity is stronger like you can see you can add the value here so this is the full value and this is a little less if I go down on this one now it's even softer right now it's really soft Oh, that sounds really interesting. Maybe I make a ghost note with it. Yeah, let's see. Maybe like that. Okay. And then I added like a drum bass, which you find here in the audio effects. You go to drum bass. And it's basically just adding some saturation, which uh, is just making it a bit more richer in harmonics. And also, it sounds more alive in a way. And then I added one delay. And then I added another one. But this one, I turned the filter off and set it to ping pong and slightly changed the timing. And this creates this evolving rhythm. 
and also like a little bit of glue compression just to glue it together and, and catch the, the uh, transients like the louder parts you know without the compressor it sounds like this and the compressor just glues it nicely together like a ratio like a subtle ratio like two and the attack uh, three milliseconds because I want to have the transients coming through of the attack sounds yeah and that's basically the rhythm here and then we have the next one which I also really love man in general I just love uh, electric guitars I love you know like ambient guitars and stuff like that and this is a beautiful Telecaster uh, a set sampled from uh, another guy who is really important for this whole decent sampler thing because he was the first one who transferred the first contact instruments into decent sampler um, and he has created this beautiful uh, sample library where he sampled his electric guitar and it sounds like that so this is the swarm setting there's different settings this is the swarm preset and, and it's creating like this kind of call that I mean you hear how it sounds it creates like this waves which I really like and again I just played two notes this time just C and A and I could automate actually the tone Right, to make it sound more interesting over time. But yeah, just leave it like that for now. Really beautiful texture. I love that guitar sound, like it's just strings vibrating. It's just, ah. Okay, and then the same instrument. There is another preset, it's the Swell preset. Ah. Wow, I just love that. So this is just coming in once here on that section. It's just the E. But it's just adding a really nice touch, a really nice color. Now it's coming. Ah, beautiful. Just just a nice accent. And then we have a look at this. That's also really beautiful. It's the kalimba rain. So it's it's a kalimba, but it played with an articulation that gives the impression of rain. So I added that basically to give the impression of you know like rain. So it's all like about this organic feel and this is how it sounds. Again, just C2 and C3. Just a nice little rain imitation. And then, <laughs> really nice, some more organic sounds. This is the pack called Into the Forest. And I chose the preset Forest Loops and then I just added some reverb and uh, again I put a delay and I put also an auto pen so that it's moving from left to right. Auto pen you also find in the audio effects here. Go to auto pen and then some subtle settings, not too crazy. 
so it's going subtly from left to right to create this spaciousness and immersive experience and also I modulated a little bit um, the tone so taking a little bit out of the highs sometimes bringing in more of the high end of the frequency spectrum just to give it a little bit more um, variation right and if you want to know how to automate a parameter I can show you here so first you go to configure and then you move the thing that you want to automate right so I click on the reverb now and then you see it shows up here and now I have it available so now if I click on reverb and I go into the clip I automate in the clip and you see the device uh, first of all you need to make sure that this is enabled here this is the automation um, window and then you select the device and you can see the reverb is already selected so now I could click here make the dots and automate reverb having less reverb and more reverb you know and this will again just change a little bit the perception of the sound will make it more interesting now you can see the reverb is moving if we look here you can also move it, see it moving slightly yeah so let's all hear everything together So this is really like how I like to work, you know, like start in the session view and then just creating some soundscapes. And from here we could go into the arrangement. And as you saw, like in general, it's just like eight bar loops or 16 bar loops, slight automation on the elements. And then I did not like mix it like a lot, just a little bit, right? So you like some panning, of course you can space the sounds in the stereo field left and right. This is how you do it with the panning here, so that it's not all in the center. And yeah, and then here I process a little bit. This is kind of like the main element, the lead element, um, or like the one that stands out. So I group them together, the kalimba and the marimba, because they are pretty similar. I added some glue compression also, and then just some EQ, taking out a little bit of the high end here with this shelf EQ. And then making a dip here in the low mids where those are the resonant frequencies of the kalimba, just to make them a little bit more softer. And then slight saturation to again create some just harmonic distortion to make it a bit more alive yeah and as I said a noise filter here adding the rainforest atmosphere and I guess yeah on the bass drone I added a warm tube which is kind of like tube saturation which you can find here in the dynamic tube there's a preset warm tube and again it's adding some harmonic distortion emulating um, a tube amp and then on the master I added some multiband compression to also glue everything together and it sounds of course a lot louder now but it's basically 
compressing different uh, frequency sections. And then the only plugin that is not really free is the tape plugin from Baby Audio, which is emulating a tape machine, which I add for a little bit of glue and a little bit of this tape saturation warmth. But if you wanted a free tape plugin, I can recommend this one, the Chow tape. And um, what I recommend you is go to the lo-fi setting, which will like distort it heavily. So now it's too much if you listen now. It's heavily distorted, right? But if you dial it back, like the dry wet, so this is the amount of the affected signal blended with the not affected signal and now we can just dial in some grid you know and ambient music i like it when it's like really warm and people tend to like this tape feeling you know like it gives them like a sense of nostalgia and imperfection and you can create that easily by just taking the lo-fi setting dialing the dry wet all the way down and then bringing it in to your taste so let's see we dial it in now Yeah, just a little bit, like 30. Adds a little bit of grit to it. If you wanted to, you can have some flutter as well. And some wow. Drift. So this is creating this wobbly, wonky tape feeling that you get when the tape gets old. Just adding some warmth to it and some character, like without. Pretty clean. And here you can hear some of the high end is taken out also because this is what's happening with the tape machines. You lose a little bit of the, the presence, which creates the warmth, right? This is where the warmth is coming from, taking out the high frequencies. Maybe it's a bit too much. So, yeah, I hope you are as excited as I am about all those amazing plugins. There's a lot more, like you can check the whole library. There's 250 decent sampler instruments at the moment. And there are more coming, like they are updating that like weekly, like whenever new people put new instruments and now the decent sampler has become more and more popular. It's really cool to see that library growing and uh, yeah for my academy supporters i will put that i will make that ableton set available i will also bounce it down to audio so that you have the samples but you also get the project with the midi files so that you can download all the decent sampler versions and what i would suggest you is to use this as a template right so you can get rid of all what i did but you can find your own sounds because I think those are pretty cool elements for any ambient track, you know, like I could start over again with like deleting all the clips and just starting again from scratch and I would come up with another beautiful piece, I'm sure, you know, so I recommend you or maybe I challenge you, you know, like to create a track like those of you who are in the Academy, create a track uh, with that template that will be beautiful to hear and then we can share it on the channel. All right, so that's it for this video. Another one coming. Uh, the next one is going to be about an exciting new 
shamanic drum meditation template that I made. I think I'm going to record it today. We will see how it goes. And yeah, thank you for watching. Keep creating magic with sound. I'm Stephen Key, your sonic sorcerer, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye. hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making the video and if you are new to music production and you would like some support or just in general you're looking for a community of fellow Sonic Merlins that are supporting each other and empowering each other to create magic with sound you might want to check out our Academy for Sonic Sorcery there's different tiers uh, with which you can join with as little as $5 per month. You can join our weekly online meetings and our Telegram group where we give feedback to our projects, where we can ask questions if we feel stuck and just in general share everything related to sound, healing and uh, meditation music and everything that we come across that we think might be of interest to the members. And then as you go higher as an adapting mage, you will be able to download uh, my Ableton projects and you get discount in my online store for uh, the products that I'm offering, like templates and loops and stuff. And as a mage, you will also get all the benefits and a 19-minute monthly personal private class with me, like online coaching. So if that is something that you resonate with, if you feel the call, we are super happy to welcome you at the moment. We are nine members and growing. And yeah, we would love to see you there to co-create some magical stuff together. And in the next days, you will see some of the beautiful things that already have been created within the Academy. I'm so excited to share like breathwork journeys and shamanic down tempo tracks and meditation music all beautiful things that have been created within the academy and we will show you some of it and my students will break down the process in a video for you so stay tuned for that and with that being said boom, and see you in the next video